Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Don't need no more of those corrupted Bibles. I tell you, you know, I don't I don't say that. I know Brother Billy don't say it, and a few of you don't say it just to get on people. We say it because those other versions are deadly. Yeah. It's like taking poison. Come on. I'm serious. If you drunk in the natural a glass of poison, <coughs> it would either make you sick or kill you. In the spirit, when you read those other versions, they're doing that to your spirit. They're, they're drowning you out. They're killing you from hearing the truth. Come on. If you're sick and you go to a doctor, they give you an antibiotic. It's supposed to heal and help your body. Amen? The Word of God can help you, can change you, can set you free. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Who's excited about hearing the Word tonight? Amen. Are you, are you in the mind frame of, I was glad when they said unto me, let Come us on. go into the house, the house of the Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, I tell you, I'm excited about it. You say you're preaching at the time, but I'm excited to hear it. Praise God. Come on. Hallelujah, because it's the Word of God. Yeah. It's God's Word. He's the Word. Glory. Amen. So when we preach His Word, we're preaching Jesus. Praise Amen. God. Come on. Woo, Glory. There's a life in that. Yeah. Psalm chapter 20, beginning in verse 1. And if you're able to stand to your feet for the reading of God's Word out of respect to Him, if we could do that, if you're not able, the Lord understands. Praise God. Let's just give Him respect tonight. He's worthy of it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Somebody got happy there. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Psalm chapter 20, beginning in verse 1. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God, the name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice, Salah. Grant thee according to thy own heart, excuse me, and fulfill all thy counsel. It says, We will rejoice in thy salvation. Amen. Come on. And in the name of our God. Whoa, hallelujah. Oh, I wish somebody could happy about Whoa, that. Whoa, hallelujah. It says we will rejoice in our salvation. Come on. How many saved tonight? Amen. You should be rejoicing. Yeah. Come on now. Amen. Oh, you don't want to get happy tonight. Praise God. It says we will rejoice in our salvation. Somebody say thank you, Jesus, that you're saved. Come on. My Amen. goodness. I will thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Go over it. And in the name of our God, we will set up banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now I know that the Lord saveth his anointed. My, 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 oh. my Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know that G, when you call upon the name of the Lord, he will save you? Amen. Amen. God, do you know it in your heart tonight? Do Come you on. know it without a shadow of a doubt that when you call on the name Jesus, oh, he will be there for you? He's a very hallelujah. present help in time of trouble. Oh, oh I can't hallelujah. Even help me tonight. Jesus is there when Come you on. call him. Just as close as you, oh, glory to God. Praise All the Lord. you got to do before you even say his name, he's there. Praise God. Amen. A very present help in the time of trouble. Yes, he said, he I is. know that the Lord. Lord saveth his anointed. I'm anointed and you're anointed, so Come therefore on. he's going to save us. Yeah. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Oh, that gets me excited right now. And listen to this next promise. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Come on. My, my, my. How Whoa. many of you know God hears you when you pray? Praise God. There's a verse over in the New Testament that says, I thank God that he heard my prayer. Amen to God. Amen. We ought to praise God for hearing us pray. Amen to God. We ought to thank you for hearing our prayers. Hallelujah. Come on. Woo! That gets me excited right Amen. there. I'm just about to go out. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Oh, it says, Some trust in chariots, some in horses. Yeah. But we <laughs> we will remember the name Whoa. of the Lord. Hallelujah. God. Somebody Hallelujah. say his name tonight, church. Jesus. He said, Some trust in chariots Come and on. horses. But we will remember the name of our God, Whoa. which is the Lord Whoa. Jesus Whoa. Christ. Whoa. Amen Whoa. to God. Whoa. You can't get nothing better than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It said they're brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Glory to God. Somebody say oh, amen. Hallelujah. The world thinks they're going to get us down, but we're going to get back up in Come here. On. Amen. amen. To God. amen. Somebody shout somebody. Somebody. Oh, Jesus. Verse number nine. It says, Save, Lord. Let the king hear us when we call. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, merciful Jesus. Man, I feel the Holy Ghost stirring up in my soul right now. Glory to God. Thank you, G. Man, that, those nine verses right there, there's enough promises in that verse right there to build your faith for a year. Amen to yeah, God. Come on. That the Lord hears you when you call on Him. Come on. Amen to God. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to talk to you tonight. Glory to God. How many remembers years ago there was a, a movie out? called Ghostbusters. Do y'all remember that movie? Yeah. yeah. There was a song in that movie, I remember it as a kid. It said, who are you going to call? 
And they said, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Well, I'm not preaching on ghosts. Come on. And proclaiming about psychics and all that garbage. I'm going to hit that here a little bit, though. Because we're almost getting near Halloween. Come on. Come on now. But I want to use those words. Who are you going to call? Yeah, Jesus. Not Ghostbusters, but Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Who are you Somebody shout somebody. Who are you going to call? Jesus. Oh, you don't buy amen to God. Who are you going to call? Jesus. Look at your name and say, who are you going to call? Who are you going to call? What's his name, church? Jesus. Hallelujah. Who are you going to call? Hallelujah. Oh, glory. He love him. I know I'm going to call on the name of the Lord. Because the name of the Lord is a mighty strong tower. Amen to God. You can call him. He's safe. And the devil can't harm you. So who are you going to call? Jesus. Amen. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Lord, for your Lord word tonight. Right now, Thank Lord. you, Lord, that when we name call name. upon you, that you hear us oh, and you answer our prayer, dear God. Yes. I pray, Lord God, that not everybody going through troubles and situations, God, Lord, that they would call upon that name. Lord, those under the sound of my voice hear the voice of the Lord. Lord, they would receive this word tonight. Lord, and apply this word, Lord, so they can get the victory over the devil, Lord, the and over the flesh, Lord God. Those that are watching out there by Facebook and YouTube and hearing by <clears throat> voice of the Lord radio preaching and truth broadcast and whatever avenue Lord minister to them as well for we ask it all in Jesus precious name and everybody said Amen, amen. and amen. amen oh who are you going to call amen. Woo! Jesus. glory to God I want you to get that in your spirit tonight because we Come need on. the Lord to call on Jesus amen. Hallelujah. he didn't go through what he went through at Calvary for us just not to call on him Amen. When you're sick, who are you going to call? Jesus. When you need financial help, who are you going to call? Jesus. When you're lonely, praise God, who are you going to call? Jesus. He says he's a friend to stick it closer than a brother. Amen. Oh, help me somebody. Yes, he is. Help me somebody. Oh, oh God. I wish somebody would help me preach this tonight. Because this is good word, amen, to God. We call on the name of Jesus. Amen. And right now, in the day in which we live in church, the way the economy's looking, just by the election. Hallelujah. It's coming up, what is it, next year? Yeah. The candidates. And I'm not trying to be rude. Yeah. But we ain't got no good candidates. Come on. I tell you, they all need to be born again. Amen. They need Jesus in their life. Amen. Yeah. I wish they would let a preacher full of the Holy Ghost get up there and talk on one of those campaigns. Come on. Hallelujah. I can name a few preachers, amen to God, <laughs> that they need to get up there and talk. Come on. Of course, we'd be in jail after we got done preaching, amen to God. But that's all right, though. Because I believe they throw us in jail, praise God. We preach the word now, they have to let us out, amen Come to on. God. Hallelujah. I don't, know, I don't know if I've told this to Aaron or not. There was a, a man a few years back. Hallelujah. His name, well, I won't mention his name, praise God. But he used to go with me when I'd go preaching up around Hopkinsville in the area up there. He was a dear black brother. <coughs> Love Jesus, amen. Come on. And he got into some trouble. And he had to go to jail. And, you know, he knew what he did was wrong. But when he was sitting in the jail, he had a Bible in there. Go over to God. Come on. And he got to read about Paul and Silas. Yeah. And they got to praising God in the midnight hour. <laughs> oh, help me. Oh. So he started praising God in the midnight hour. Yeah. I want you to know, the praising he did, he was singing to God, shouting and dancing. They come down there, and this is the truth. I would never believe it until I, I heard it, praise God, from the judge come in on. the courtroom. They come down there and opened the cell and told him, get out. Come on. Tell me that's not God. You yeah. say, well, that guy's crazy. <laughs> no, he knew the answer on how to get out. And that's praise Jesus. I'm telling you, praise Jesus today. You can be set free from that prison you're in today. Come on. Maybe depression you're oh, going through. No, no, Maybe no, no, sickness no. you're in. But yeah. God can open the chain doors and set you free. Yeah. Because whom the Son sets free yeah. is free indeed. Free Look at your name and say, Jesus is going to set me free. Jesus is going to sit. Woo! I tell you, he had the right idea. And he went on the court Come on. a few weeks later. He didn't have no money for a lawyer. This is a true story. I was sitting in the back of the courtroom because I knew what he was going to do. The judge said, <coughs> after he took his drink of whiskey, come on now. The judge turned around and said, he asked the public defender over there, the however that was, and they pleaded their case, and he got to Brother Lloyd, and he said, Brother Lloyd, do you have counsel? 
He said, I have counsel, but you can't see. Come on. Amen. The judge kind of looked at him funny. He said, what are you talking about? He said he got up and had his Bible like this yeah. in his hand, and he put it up to his face. He said, I want to tell you the counsel I have is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you, they were laughing at him, but I'll tell you, he was speaking the truth right there. Oh. And I want you to yeah. know, he pleaded his case. He said, I'm guilty, but Jesus died on the cross for me. Praise God. Come See, on. he knew who to call on. Oh. Jesus. And when that all said and done, praise God, the judge said, you ever come back in my courtroom again, I'll shoot you with a gun. He said, you're free. You go. Get out of my courtroom. Oh. I know we're laughing about it, it's funny, but I tell you, there is truth in that right on. there. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He, told me, he said, Brother Mike, I ain't got no money to get me a lawyer because on. I don't need one. He said, I have an advocate with the Father. Oh. Amen. He knew who to call on that. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. Somebody ought to give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. See, God uses the foolish things to confound the wise. Yes, Amen. Amen. He'll use those things that looks foolish to the world. Come praise on. God. Well, you know, somebody out there shouting and praising God, dancing a little bit for Jesus. Amen to God. He uses those things for His glory. Come on. And I'll tell you one thing. God is a mighty good God that we serve. Amen? Yeah. So when trouble comes your way, who do you call on? Come on. Amen? Yeah. Jesus. When when life gets so tough you just want to throw the towel in, who do you call on? Come on. We as believers should call on Jesus. But I tell you today, Sister Minnie, in the world in which we live in today, the world knows more about comfort and peace than the church does. Come on. Because most of the church folks, they have to go get dope yeah. just to calm the nerves. Yeah. And I've often said this. I said, you know, there's something wrong with somebody who's spirit-filled that has to take nerve pills to calm down. Come on. I tell you what, you're not trusting in Jesus. You probably don't have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen to God. Because I tell you, when you truly got the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you can lay down of a night and go to sleep peacefully. Come on. Come on now. Somebody help me preach this now. That's the truth, praise God. They can tell you you're going to lose your job tomorrow. And you can still be praising God. Amen. Because when trouble comes our way, Jesus is the way to fix it. Amen to God. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So who are you going to call? Jesus. Amen. I'm going to have you say that tonight. Amen to God. I want you to say it all week. Who am I going to call this week when I get in trouble? Come on. Jesus. Jesus. Amen to God. When they call tomorrow and give you bad news, say, Come on. who are you going to call? Jesus. Jesus. Because I tell you, that wall telephone, when you call him, he don't put you on hold. He don't put you to a voicemail. He answers directly. Come on. Amen. Amen. To God. I can call on Jesus on that royal telephone. Amen. Amen. God. And that's when I get down on my knees and talk to Jesus. Come on. Or if I'm driving in the truck, amen to God, yeah. I'm talking to Jesus. Amen. Amen to God. Somebody shout amen. Amen. So who are you going to call? Jesus. Hallelujah. The world today, praise God, is so bound up with different things. I'm going to hit this now while it's up on my mind. Halloween's coming up next month. Yeah. And there's so many people out there today that are so preoccupied with getting a quick fix answer. Yeah. They can't be patient and wait on the Lord. He Come said, on. if you wait on the Lord, amen to God, He will renew your strength. Yeah. Amen. But we've got to take that. We live in a Burger King society, Brother Billy. Come on. We want it our way right now. We drive up, we want to get our food and go on within a minute. Come on. We don't ever want to wait on God. Yeah. And that's the problem today. If we would wait on God, we would get the answer, praise Come God, on. to that's our questions, truth. to yeah. our problems, amen. to anything we're going through. So folks today have taken it upon themselves. Come on. They'll run and get a newspaper and read the horoscopes. Yeah. They'll look up if they're a Sagittarius or a Leo or a Virgo or wherever that garbage is. Come and on. They'll, for that particular day, they'll read it. Oh, it says I'm going to come across somebody who's going to be a blessing to me. Well, praise God. Won't you read the Bible to tell you, amen to God, you're blessed going in, blessed Come going on. out. Amen. You're a child of God, amen. Yeah. That's what it says. Amen. Or they call the psychic hotlines. Come on. Do you not know? That's demon spirits you're meddling with. Come on. That's See, that's not preached today. Well, that's they say it's okay to call the psychic hotline if they can hear a voice. Yeah, they're hearing a voice. 
Come on. But they're not hearing the voice. Jesus said, my sheep will know my voice. Say amen to God. <coughs> How many is his sheep in here tonight? If you're yeah. his sheep, you know the voice, and the voice is Jesus. So who are you going to call? Jesus. Amen to God. Don't call Celine Dion. Amen to God. Come she on. don't know nothing. She's sitting there being fed in line how to tell people what to do, amen to God. And they had that one guy years ago, he had that old white, frizzy, fuzzy hair, looked like a goofball Santa Claus, amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> sitting there telling you he could tell you how to fix your problems. And Come on. most of the preachers act like they're on TV today. If you watch them from midnight on to the morning, you got those preachers out there. I'm going to name names, amen to God. You got that old... Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Leroy Jenkins. Yeah. You buy his bottle of water. He says if you drink his water, you're healed. Well, yeah. you know, Amen. praise God. I've got a bottle of water up here. It don't have his mug on it. Thank God for that, because I'd get sick if I seen it. Hallelujah, to God. I believe God can heal me without drinking that water. Come on. Amen. Amen. He's the water. Yeah. That's right, the living water. Living. And you'll never thirst again. Amen. You say, Brother Mike, why are you naming names for? Because. Praise God. They don't mind running the Christians down. And I'm not running it down. I'm just coming against the falseness he's preaching. Come on. And the lies that these psychic hotlines are doing. And let me tell you something, parents. You don't need to let your kids dress up either. Come on. I'm going to hit this and run, amen to God. So that way if I preach the truth, amen to God, God's going to spare my life and get me out of here, praise God, so I don't get beat up. Come on. Amen to God. You know, seriously, if you preach the truth, it makes people mad. It makes the devil mad. He makes people rise up to want to hurt you. Yeah. But my Bible says, touch not my anointed, neither do my prophet any harm. Amen. Come on. We're not to partake of the things in this world. We're to be, amen to God, opposite of the world. Come on. Jesus did not call us to be like the world, but to be as He is, praise yeah. God. Yeah. Because if you look at His life when He was down here on this earth, praise <laughs> God, some 2,000 years ago, hallelujah to God, He was different, praise God. He did things the Word way. Amen, amen. to God. Yes, he he did, did things the Word way. He did the Word what the Word said, amen to God. Come on. He was always walking around speaking the Word. He yeah. was always walking around by faith speaking the Word, praise God. Yeah. He didn't have to go buy nothing, praise God, no CD series. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because He is the Word. Amen. He can change your life. And He's telling us today, who are you going to call? Jesus. Amen. I know you're going to get tired of that before the night's over, but I want you to get that in your spirit. Praise Amen. God. Psychic hotlines is not the answer. Hallelujah. Crystal balls are not the answer. Amen. Come on. You cannot look in a crystal ball and see the future. Most people look in there and see an ugly mug. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> that will scare the devil out of you, amen. Come on. Some of those people you go to, I remember a few years back. They had a fortune teller at the county fair up there in, in Hopkinsville. And they had this big tent up in there. And one one brother that come down here, Brother Gary, that come down here with me. We went out where we were sharing passing gospel tracts out at the fair, praise God. Hallelujah. And, and the Lord told us to go in there. And we walked right in at the, the little tent way there. And she got up and started cursing us. She said, you get out of here. I don't want you here. And we could tell that there was a spirit there. Come on. So we started saying the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuked that spirit. And she said, I'm going to tell you your future. You're going to die. He said, no, 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 no. We're going to tell you your future. If you don't get saved, you're going to hell. Come on. Somebody amen. shout amen, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. That's the truth. If you don't get born again, you're not going to make it to heaven. You're Come going on. to a place called hell amen. that was created for the devil and his angels. Amen. Yeah. I'll tell you, that is not the way. Don't look to that stuff. That, that, that game they sell at Kmart and Walmart, that little, what is that little eight ball game? You shake it up and you're supposed to ask it a question. Yeah. And it's supposed to tell you an answer. Yeah. Don't get in that stuff. Come on. That's all occult stuff. Yeah. It's all of the devil. Yeah. You don't need to be doing that. And parents don't let your kids play with that stuff. That stuff is garbage. Come on. It is evil. Amen. You can attract evil spirits. I tell you, people today are just running in the wrong direction. They're running opposite. Of the Lord, praise God. I thank God the prodigal son came to his senses and he run back to the father's house. See, we need to be like that today. He knew who to call. He knew to go back home to daddy, amen to God. And that's what we need to do. We Come need on. to be like the prodigal son, amen to God, and run back to the father's house, amen Come to on. God, and call upon Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. Because Jesus won't do you wrong, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. 
See, there's help for those that are weighed down with trouble today. Amen? Yeah. The Bible says in Job 5, 7, Yet man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. Hallelujah. Job 14, 1. <coughs> man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. I'm telling you, oh. you're going to have trials and tribulations in this walk. Amen to God. Jesus didn't say you would walk through here and everything be fine. Tiny oh. Tim lied, sitting tiptoeing through the tulips. Amen to God. You'd be happy. I'm telling you, it is a rough journey, praise God. But Jesus... Jesus will guide you safely Come through, on. amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Through hell and high waters, God will get you through if you trust Him. Come on. Praise God. I think about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Amen. They wouldn't bow down to the king. Come on. So the king got mad like some folks do today. And if they don't do what they say, they go to the extreme. So he said, I'm going to throw these men into the fiery furnace. Heat that thing seven times hotter. Let me tell you who they called on. Praise on. God. They called upon Jesus. Come on. To God. Because when he threw them in, y'all know the story, but I'm just going to tell you. Praise God. When he threw them in, praise God, they had their clothes on, all their garments, their hats and everything. But he, he said, wait a minute. I thought we threw three guys in there. He said, I look in there, one, two, three, and there's one as the Son of God. Oh, Woo! Oh, oh, yeah. Praise God. They see Jesus in there because they caught up on him. When they brought yeah. him out, they didn't even smell like smoke. Because I'm telling you right now, when you're faithful to God and you're true to God, no matter what the devil throws your way, you'll come out unstarred. You'll come out unblemished. Oh, you'll come out without oh, a smell of smoke on you, praise God. And you can stand up and testify the goodness of God. I amen. wish somebody would say amen tonight. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. We're going to go through troubles and trials and tribulations. But Jesus is with me through the storm clouds. Amen, amen. to God. He's with us, praise God. Hallelujah. Life throws us curveballs, but praise God, God will make a way where we can hit a home run. Come on. Somebody say home run. All right. Remember when David, hallelujah. Is this all right? Come on, that's good preaching. Oh, you want me to shut up yet? Oh, uh, come on. Okay, praise God. I wasn't going to. Hallelujah. Get on down. Now until the Lord says we're done. Hallelujah. Remember when David went out to fight to meet Goliath? There were so many people that was in fear of Goliath. Because Goliath was this big, humongous thing. Come on. I mean, he could have just whooped anybody one-on-one. -on -one, probably one-on-ten. He was so big. <laughs> but David knew who to call on. Yeah. He said, you come to me with a spear and a sword. I'm on. <laughs> Woo! But I come to you. He didn't say in the name of, of Muhammad. He didn't say in the name of Joel. He said, I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And when he went out there, he took that stone, amen, to God with that slingshot and gave it a flame. Glory to God and hit the, hit the giant right in the center of the head. Come on. But yeah. see, that's not what did he mean. See, people, they just stop there. Yeah. I like what he said, Brother on. Billy. Yeah. He went and took the sword. Come on. Woo! Go away. He took oh, the sword. You know, the Bible says the Word of God is like a two-edged sword. Come on. He took that sword and he chopped his head off. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. Tell me God can't give you victory over your giants tonight. Yeah, come on. Praise God. You said, Brother Mike, you don't know what I'm going through. The giant of depression, praise God. You can get peace in your life. You can get joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen to God. He said in the Word, He said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy, 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 joy come is coming in the morning. Somebody say, my joy is coming. Somebody oh, say, it's oh, coming. Oh, amen oh, to God. Oh, yeah. And Jesus is your joy. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes these giants, praise God, make us run. They make us run to family and friends, to government. God, we need to go opposite of that. Praise Amen. God. We need to seek refuge in Him, praise God, because the help of man is limited. Come on. The Bible says in Psalm 60, verse 11, Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Come on. Man can only do so much because sometimes man can't do what God can do. Amen. See, God can do things in the spirit and the supernatural that we can't understand in the natural. Amen. I gave an example of my ex-wife, Penny, praise God. That was God working there. Because no matter what I tried, no matter what anybody tried, praise God, it wasn't working. But God intervened, amen to God. And when God intervenes, praise God, I'm telling you right now, on July 28, 2007, when I was sitting there, hallelujah to God, praise God, after I put that gun to my mouth to blow my brains out, God intervened when I called up on him. I said, who am I going to call? And I remembered to call on Jesus! Hallelujah. And he spared mine. And he helped me and raised me back up. I'll tell you now, I've got a reason to shout. 
Because God is good. Come on, amen. Glory to God. You say, I'm tired of hearing your testimony. Well, I'm sorry. I'm going to testify about it until He calls me home or I go by the way of the grave. Come because on. the God I serve is good. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Humans cannot help us pray. Man cannot help us today. Only the Word of God, only Jesus can. The Bible says in Isaiah 31, 1, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Egypt is a type of the flesh. Yeah. Hallelujah. And stay on horses and trust in chariots, because they are many, and in horsemen, because they are strong. But they look <laughs> not unto the... Ooh, go to God. It said they look Hallelujah. not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. So when you seek after man's ways and man's wisdom, it's going to get you just mixed up. Yeah. But Amen. when you take this word right here, praise yeah. God, and you apply it to your life every single day, amen to God, you're going to be led in the right way. Amen. Amen? Yeah. So I ask you again, who are you going to call? Jesus. Jesus. The Bible says, Psalm 46, 1, God is our refuge and strength. Come on. Our very present help in trouble. Amen? Yeah. Amen. I don't know if anybody you can call on that won't be there quicker than he will. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah to God. I like what this preacher said, Irwin Lutzer. He said, God often puts us in situations that are too much for us so that we will learn that no situation is too much for Him. Come on. Come on now. Yeah. See, I always say it like this. Don't get upset when you're going through trials and tribulations and valleys. Think of it this way. It's promotion time. You say, huh? Come on. See, we always want to stay on the mountaintop, in which it's good. How many likes the mountain? Oh, yeah. Let's be honest. How many dislikes the valley? Come on. Amen. 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 Praise God. But you know, here lately the Lord has showed me, this is going to sound crazy, I appreciate the valleys now more than I do the mountains. Come on. You say, why do you say that, Brother Mike? Because in the valley I can rely on Him. Come in on. the valley, I can be made more like He is. Amen to God. Amen. I can learn to cry out to Him. Praise God. And when I'm in trouble, I can say, Jesus, I need Your help. Come when on. I'm in trouble, I can run to the Word. Praise God. When I'm in trouble, I can pray. Praise God. Hallelujah. Get the Spirit stirred up in me. Praise God. Amen. These valleys should be, praise God. What's that? You sang that song, This Valley is for Me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. So thank God for the valleys. The valleys make us call on Him. Oh, go. Oh, hallelujah. Makes us call on Him. Makes us depend on Him. Amen. Like a newborn baby depends on their parents to Come feed on. it and nurture it. That's what He wants us to do is to depend Amen. on Him. Yes, He does. Amen. Call on Him. Tell Him everything that bothers you. Come on. I don't care if you got a toy ache. Lord, my toe is hurt because He cares about you. Yes, He does. He says, if you cast all your cares upon Him, for He careth for you. You've yeah, got to get that in your spirit tonight. That Come Jesus on. truly cares for you and loves you. Amen. He's not some God on a throne with long white hair sitting there ready to throw a lightning rod to condemn you to hell. Come on. He's a loving, nurturing Father. Yes, He is. Who wants to do anything and everything to bless you, to love you, Come to on. encourage you. You just got to believe the word, amen to God. Amen. But so many times we get so we, we let life just blind us of what God is wanting to do. Yeah. And if we would just focus our eyes on Him and His Word and the promises in His Word, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We wouldn't be in the message we're hitting today, Brother Billy. Come on. I tell you, life is hard. Yeah. I'm not saying it ain't. But Jesus said He'll get you through. Amen. Yes, He will. Mm -hmm. I'm glad He said that I will not leave you comfortless. I will come and comfort you. See, when He went up, when Jesus ascended up in heaven, He said, I go so I can send the Comforter back. So He can dwell in us. Amen? How many is glad for the Comforter tonight? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Psalm 107, 28. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and He bringeth them out of their distresses. Do you believe tonight if you call upon Him, He'll bring you out of your distresses? Come on. Amen. He'll bring you out of what you're going through? Yeah. Brother Mike, we don't have the money to meet the bills, praise God. But if you trust in Him, He'll take care of you. Yes, He will. If you're faithful to Him, Come on. He'll take care of you. Brother Mike, I don't know what we're going to do, praise God. The doctor done told us, hallelujah, 